Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be a little botany, more than herbal medicine per se, but it's all about plants. I am here today at one of my favorite places. This is the Basha Kill, a protected wetland outside of Wurtsboro, New York. Uh, there are beautiful trails, bald eagles, but my favorite thing to do is come out here in my kayak, which is where I am today, and I'm looking at this amazing little plant here. You see this yellow flower. To look out, there's a bit more of them out in the water here, emerging from the water, right? And this is bladderwort or utricularia. There's actually a lot of it growing here. It's pretty common, but you only see it easily when it flowers because most of the time it's submergent, which is a term when an aquatic plant actually has all of its leaves and growth beneath the water surface but it's insect pollinated, so when it flowers, it flowers up above the water. But this is the plant itself. Let me show you. I pull some of this up, and hopefully you can see this. Quite amazing, these finely dissected leaves help it to float. And if you see these little black spots all over, right? You're probably seeing that. Those are actually little bladders. Those are little uh, 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 vessels, if you will, uh, in which this plant can trap small aquatic invertebrates because it's a carnivorous plant. This is one of our native carnivorous plants. It's an aquatic carnivorous plant. How cool is that? Uh, it also is known to trap algae in those bladders and digest them. So it's getting nutrition from algae that it's trapping as well. Uh, and it's so, so interesting. One thing we're learning about these bladders is it also fosters and harbors, if you will, a uh, biodiverse microbial population or community within these little bladders. In other words, this is where the microbiome of the plant lives, right? A lot of plants have their microbiome in the soil, a lot of people actually refer to the soil as the plant microbiome these days, right? It's like the plant's digestive tract. But for an aquatic plant, well, some aquatic plants are rooted in the soil down below the water, but some of them are not. In fact, this utricularia, take a look at this. I can just pull it out of the water. It's not rooted at all. It's just floating. Uh, it's just floating around in the water. I have not disturbed this plant at all. I'm just going to gently place it back and no harm done. So it's deriving its nutrition from the water itself. And in this case, uh, not just uh, as other plants do, but actually in a carnivorous fashion. So, so cool. <laughs>